your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. You know, it's been over six years since the three-pointed star merged with the Pentastar to form Daimler Chrysler. And though we have witnessed some blending of American style and European engineering in their efforts, no Chrysler cars have more Mercedes genes than the Crossfire Coupe and Convertible, and even more so the supercharged Crossfire SRT6. To us, this is a heavenly match made for asphalt. For those of you in the know, I'm sure you'll agree with us that the 2005 Chrysler Crossfire SRT6 is something every street smart racer dreams of. And Chrysler's in-house tuner street and racing technology badging instantly expresses its more than capable performance and respect for pavement. The Crossfire's German build is buckling at the seams with a need for speed. And though we were impressed with Chrysler's standard Crossfire, we can't deny our enthusiasm for for its beefed up counterpart. The revved up road ready Crossfire also has a little flair for distinction elsewhere on the exterior. It wears a unique front spoiler and replaces the base car's motorized rear spoiler with a large fixed wing, adding a little kick to its rakish body. The race car look is finished off by upgraded SRT Special 15-spoke alloy wheels with high performance 18-inch tires at the front and lofty 19s at the rear. Like the standard Crossfire, the SRT6 also sits atop the same rear-drive chassis used by the first-generation Mercedes-Benz SLK Roadster. But the SRT6 takes a lot more from the Mercedes shed than just its sturdy frame. Pop the hood and Eureka! The Crossfire is propelled by a 3.2-liter supercharged single-cam V6. Output here is 330 horsepower or over 50% more than the standard Crossfire with 310 pound-feet of torque. The SRT6 is mated to an upgraded high-torque five-speed automatic transmission with Chrysler-branded auto-stick manual shift mode. Rapidly squeeze the pedal and the SRT6 squirts to 60 in only 5.4 seconds. That's over a second and a half faster than the standard Crossfire, but it feels even faster. The quarter mile passes in a quickened 13.9 seconds at a cool 104 miles per hour. Not a shocker then that the throttle response is immediate with strong bottom end power and a wide flat power band. Shifts are equally refined, engaging each cog in a firm, crisp manner. While a pure manual is much preferred, the auto stick does make sense here. Overall, the newer and faster edition of the Crossfire exhibits a refined, neutral performance that is both nimble and responsive when pushed hard. Grip and stability are both rock solid with only a hint of understeer through high speed quarters. The stability program has been reprogrammed to not interfere with the fun. Our only handling regret is the steering gear. The power ball type unit feels rather disconnected, leaving us little feel through the wheel, but plenty through the chassis itself. Braking is by powerful four wheel disc with ABS and brake assist. From 60, they delivered a short average stopping distance of 117 feet. Pedal feel is soft, but the aggressive ABS pulsing keeps you well informed. Off track, this Crossfire's stiff springs and short wheelbase do inform you of every road irregularity. While only harsh over the worst bits, you will know when you've hit a pothole. And while the thick C-pillars and small rear window do compromise visibility, this handsome two-seater still protects with tire pressure monitoring and side impact airbags. How thoughtful for a hot-bodied racer. Inside, minimal but distinct differences separate the standard Crossfire from the SRT6. Leather bucket seats add suede inserts and the SRT6 logo. A 200 mile per hour Speedo adorns the handsome SLK derived gauge cluster. Aluminum grab handles add a sportier look, but the bright plastic trim could be more appealing. As could the cargo space. But then again, the small 7.6 cubic feet will fit a weekender's bag, and chances are wherever you're going in this puppy, you'll get there quick anyway. Price numbers, however, are not quite so small. A Crossfire SRT6 Coupe carries a base price of $45,695. That's $15,775 more than the base Crossfire model. 
choose the SRT6 Roadster and $49,995 is the starting price. Sure, you don't get a Mercedes badge or AMG insignia with the SRT6, but they do share the same bloodline. Good old German veins and die-hard American genes. Oh, what a family tree to climb. And while some may still walk the path of wonderment that these two corporate cultures can exist under the same roof, the Crossfire SRT6 proves to us that the Daimler Chrysler marriage is built to last. Coming up, tearing up the turf. Well, it's car care 